you guys welcome back to my channel for those of you who do not know me my name is Zelina I create new makeup beauty and lifestyle videos every single week and in today's video I'm going to be doing this beautiful warm kind of berry eyeshadow look and full makeup tutorial so foundation tutorial skincare tutorial everything that you need to know to get this exact look I figured that this look would be perfect for holiday parties or whatever you're doing this upcoming holiday season. And it's not that like in your face holiday glam where it's super, super crazy with like sapphire and emerald colors. It's more of a toned down, warm, almost a everyday look with like a little bit of spice I could say. <laughs> but I, um, I'm just really excited for you guys to see this look and let me know what you think of it down below. But first, I want to tell you guys about the beautiful jewelry that I will be showcasing in this video. Starting off with the Celeste earrings. These are from Ana Luisa. They're an amazing jewelry brand. And these are some of my favorite because they're so dainty and they don't exactly match. So one side is one little shape and then the other side is a half moon and you guys are probably seeing the close-up of these but this is just one style I have two more styles and I'm going to link the names of each style down below in the description box so that you can shop the exact style I'm gonna have a special link that you can shop where you can get up to 25% off your holiday shopping so Whoever you're thinking of that might love a new pair of earrings or a ring or a necklace, they will be able to get that beautiful gift from you and you will be able to save a little bit of money shopping that link. So that link is going to be right down below in the description box and I'm going to continue showing you guys the other pair of earrings that I love. This second style is the Michelle earring. I absolutely love these earrings. These are the ones that I'm going to be wearing to all of the holiday events that I go to because they're a little bit more bold and they're just so pretty and I cannot get enough of gold jewelry lately between dainty gold necklaces and earrings and everything and once I found Ana Luisa they are the only people that I get my gold jewelry through now so these beautiful Michelle earrings are just perfect for a special occasion or when you just want to be a little bit more bold than your normal kind of everyday earring. And then here are my everyday gold hoops. These are the Low Medium by Anna Luisa. If anything, you guys need to go purchase these immediately because these, I know, sell super, super fast and they are all the rage. This is the gold hoop that everybody's wearing. It is all in style and you could just see everybody wearing these. And these are just so beautiful. I love them. They're dainty, but they're a little bit bigger than like a tiny gold hoop. They're, I would say, medium size, probably why they're called low medium. <laughs> and they're just so beautiful. So go check out the link in my description box and you can get up to 25% off any holiday shopping or any gifts that you're going to buy for yourself to wear this holiday season. You deserve it. Go buy yourself a gift and go buy somebody else a gift and use that link down below to do so. But with that being said, let's just hop right in to this makeup tutorial. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to kind of brush up my brows and I'm going to use the Kai Brow. This is in the shade Cool Brown. I actually went to go link this in my last video because I've been trying to do those little links down below so that you can get the exact makeup products but I went to go link it and Kylie Cosmetics did not have it so I'm not sure if it's discontinued or just no longer a part of their site but they do not have the at least this kind of the brow pomade uh, it's kind of comparable to the Anastasia Beverly Hills so if you guys are looking for uh, brow product kind of like this you can just check out Anastasia's because it's very very similar and I use Anastasia's brow gel for my brows anyways so I have that right here it's just their clear brow gel and I just brush up my brows I don't like to do like a full soap brow because those kind of scare me they look really good on some people but I am not those people so I kind of just like feather them up a little bit and that's the extent of the feathered brow. Okay and next I'm going to go in with the Tarte Shape Tape and I'm just going to cut my brows and prime my eyelids and this is where we're going to try that really fun 
new Stila liquid eyeshadow and I think this is going to be really good for holiday time so I wanted to make sure that this was one of those videos that I got up as soon as possible because it's such a pretty product. Um, if you haven't seen them, while I do this, I'll kind of show you guys. This is the first one. It's uh, more rose gold. It's called, um, actually it's not rose gold. It's got a hint of rose, but it's actually more gold. And this is Kitten Karma. I guess gold or iridescent would be the best way to describe it. And then the second one is Jezebel, and it's really orange looking. And that one is super orange more rose gold for sure and they're just very very pretty uh liquid eyeshadows and there's a trick to using these that you guys need to watch because it took me a minute to like them it doesn't give off like the payoff of the shadow that you think you're gonna have but if you follow the trick you will have it since this is part two of the new makeup video i have the same palette that i used in the last video which is the patrick ta major dimension eyeshadow palette but i also have the teddy bear from too faced and every time i i open this up i slide my finger right into the closest eyeshadow <laughs> Okay, so this is the Teddy Bear palette, and this is really pretty because it's a bunch of purples and oranges and pinks, and this kind of screams a little bit more holiday to me than the Patrick Ta, and I want to use a different palette in this video, so we'll use this palette, the Too Faced Teddy Bear, um, and we will use this with the Stila eyeshadows, and we'll see how it goes. I've never used this palette with that, but... I'm sure it'll be beautiful and I'm excited to see what it looks like. Just this um, shadow right here called, let's see, Embarrass, no, Pot of Honey. That makes more sense. Just this shadow right here looks like it would complement Jezebel really well. This is what the palette looks like, Too Faced Teddy Bear. Okay, so basically... I want to start off by just doing a light coat of this really light shade right here called Bear It All. And I'm just going to coat the whole lid because I have oilier skin. And if I don't do some kind of powder on the base, I will end up kind of having my eyeshadow slide all around. And a lot of people have that problem. So a really good way to prevent that is to set it with the setting powder or use a really light eyeshadow so that way it doesn't mess with your look. And you can use it just on the lid, you can use it all the way up towards your brow, it doesn't matter. I kind of just do a little bit all over and then I wanna go in with like a nice crease brush. I have here, this is a Morphe brush. Almost all of my brushes are Morphe or they are uh, real technique. Okay, so I want to go in with this one called Teddy Bear, and I'm going to use my Morphe crease brush, and I'm just going to like gently buff it into the crease. I'm trying to stay within the color scheme of those two liquid shadows, that's why I'm not going to go too crazy. I'm going to stay in the warm family, that way that everything matches, and it can still be a very pretty matchy matchy look. Okay. Next, I kind of want to just use this shade right here, which is called Mama Bear. It's like a really light orangey shade. And I want to take just another brush that's kind of a crease brush. And I want to start placing it on the outer corner, but I'm not going to really start like winging it out or anything. I'm just going to take it all the way to the middle of my eyelid and start creating a warmer eyeshadow look. You guys haven't been able to tell yet the way that this palette works and the color payoff and just how everything looks. It looks so nice and it has like a little bit of fallout, nothing crazy and the colors just go on so smooth and they're so pigmented and I'm a big fan of this palette. When I got it in the summer, I used it like every single day. I think like up until the Patrick Ta palette to be honest. I've been obsessed with it for a very long time. But next I want to use a like outer crease brush and then I'm going to use my trick which is the duo eyeshadow glue and we're going to create a nice wing with like a berry color. So I want to use this dark berry shade right here which is Fuzzy Wuzzy. <laughs> I love all of the names in here. 
and I am just going to kind of line up the dual eyeshadow glue with my tail of my brow and I am just going to use it to kind of create a line that I can follow here and create a nice sharp edge right there and then just keep deepening this color. We're going to do the same for this eye. You only need the duo eyeshadow glue for the initial wing, but I didn't really like the way that that wing curved at the end, so I'm going to go in and make it a little bit straighter. And then keep packing on the color and bringing it kind of over all the way to the middle. And you guys can see that we have some kind of like basis for this eyeshadow. And we still have a nice base on the inner corner, so we can go in with one of these shadows. My, I really want to use Jezebel, which is like this really orange shade. This is what it looks like. These retail for $21, I believe. I buy them right at Ulta, and I use a concealer brush. So basically, I apply it with the applicator directly onto my eye. I will kind of wipe off any excess product, and then I'll place it right here. So like just as much as you think you want to place there. So maybe that's good for me right now. And then I'll go in with the concealer brush and I'll start kind of just patting it in and placing it where I really want it. And trying to blend it like a little bit into the middle. And it starts to blend really nicely. It's a very pretty cream shadow. And it looks really nice with the colors that I've used so far so I'm just gonna kind of keep blending this in here that looks pretty I think I might just like leave it how it is to be honest I think that that's really nice I'm gonna leave this for right now and then I want to go to the other side and kind of see you don't need a ton but you want to make sure that you have enough so just kind of like placing it roughly you don't have to be super careful and then going in. I definitely recommend like a concealer brush and not an eyeshadow brush because eyeshadow brushes, the bristles are super kind of like fluffy. They're not as concentrated. They're not going to apply the liquid shadow into a concentrated place where this is very precise. So just kind of blending it all in. And that looks really good. Um, some people might leave it right here. Me, <laughs> I cannot do that. So, I have a couple choices here. Um, there's two shades. The first one that I originally talked about, which is this honey shade right here. And then the second one, which is kind of a purple. Who knows, I might mix them, but I think I'm going to initially go in with the more honey shade, which is called Pot of Honey. I'm going to use my finger, and I'm just going to apply it right on top. And this is going to give it more of like, a gold look versus like a rose gold look but it'll still peek out from underneath but what it does it just just adds so much more pigment to it and it sets it so for somebody like me with very oily eyelids who something like this might not last very long if you set it with a powder glitter you'll be fine. And then I'm going to use the brush that I use to apply the deeper shade right on the outer corner and I'm just going to apply that all over. And I'm going to go in with a lower waterline brush. That's what I call it, which is probably not it. It's like an eyeliner brush. All different brands have them, but this is a Morphe one. And I'm going to use the shade Mama Bear. No, this is stuffed. <laughs> And it's like a pinky uh, cranberry shade and I am just going to apply it right on the lower waterline. And this is going to be just kind of like tying the whole look together. I didn't want anything too deep or crazy. So this is what it looks like so far. I don't go crazy on the waterline until I'm like done with foundation and concealer because it always gets screwed up then. But basically I'm gonna leave this for now. I'm gonna do some lashes and liner and then I'll pop back on here and show you guys what the eyes look like and we'll get into the face because 
I have my different face products I've been telling you guys about. I have a ton of those and some samples from Beauty Blunders Foundation line that we'll try. So I think it's going to be really good. Okay, so my lashes are on. I'm just doing the normal Ardell Wispy Lashes. But I noticed that I felt like this area wasn't like dark enough. I felt like it wasn't smoked out enough. So I definitely want to go in with a little bit darker of a smoky color. So I'm going to take the brush that I used to smoke everything out and I'm actually going to go in with the shade Boop, B-O-O-P, <laughs> which is right here. And I'm going to do that trick that I do with the wing and I'm just going to kind of close my eyes so that I don't get it all over the little bit of eyeliner that I just did. And since I have like the wing pretty good, I'm just going to kind of pack this on until I think that it's like drastic. Okay, so I'm going to leave the eyes alone for a little while. I want to go into priming my face and I kind of have a really exciting announcement a little bit here. Um, I am going to have a discount code for Tula soon. Soon. It's my favorite brand. If you guys watch my TikTok or my YouTube channel previously, you know that I'm very obsessed with the brand uh, and I'm going to be working with them soon. So I will have a discount code hopefully um, very soon and I will link that in the description box once I have it. So just keep checking back. I'll update this video if it's not already here. But I want to start off with this. This is the Instant Depuff Eye Renewal Serum and what I love about it is that it has this little applicator that's like super cool to the touch. So when I apply it, which I have a little bit too much that um, I just took out, but I'm going to just go with it and it's the nicest feeling right here. Like with the uh, coolness of the little metal applicator and you can do this in the morning for however long that you want. I wake up with super puffy eyes and super dark circles so this is one of my absolute favorite products and this has become part of my routine. I do this to start off and I got the eye renewal serum. I did like their little $68 Tula anti-aging package. Um, I think my husband bought it for me for my birthday I think or for one of the I don't know he bought it for me and this was in it but it didn't have that metal applicator so I was using it and I was like wow this is really nice so I bought the full size one online and when it came with the metal applicator it just made the products like that much better I'm obsessed with it so I use that I'm gonna let this kind of sink in for a second then I go in with the Tula Rose Glow and Get It. This is the cooling eye balm and these together are my favorite ever. And if you have a really dark circle like me, this is a great combo <laughs> to start off your makeup routine. Priming is the basis of any great makeup application. It starts with a great priming routine. Next, I'm going to go in with the Tula. This is the um, vitamin C serum. I go through um, this a lot because I use it twice a day just because it, it's so cooling and it like brightens and that's what I like it versus like other vitamin C serums. And then I'm going to go in with the Confidence in an Eye Cream and this is from It Cosmetics and I just use this as my eye cream. And I just want to make sure like that everything is super primed. And that's why I'm kind of going in depth with this because these are probably some products or I've never really done like a very in-depth priming routine. And I could go into like probably a whole video on the importance of all of this stuff. But for now, you guys get the shortened version and this is it. <laughs> Next, I'm going in with the It Cosmetics. This is the Bye Bye Redness. And I'm just going to use this as my moisturizer. I love the Protecting Plump from Tula. Um, I've just been waiting to finish this one. I got the Protecting Plump in the anti-aging one and it was such a good moisturizer but I had already purchased the It Cosmetics on like a deal and it's what I'm used to but the problem with the It Cosmetics is I love it but it's very heavy for my skin so sometimes I tend to get like a couple little like breakouts you can tell when your face is broken out from over moisturizing because you'll get like a ton of little tiny pimples in the areas 
that you've like over moisturized and I've gotten that a ton. So this is how I prep my skin and I'm going to use the Benefit Pore Professional Matte Rescue Primer and I am just going to use this as my primer. It looks like a little gel and you just apply it. You could do it all over your face. You could do your T-zones. I say all over the face because you're going to apply foundation probably all over your face. So this is a good little area to prime and you're going to want to tweak the primer to your skin type. So if you're combination, if you're oily, or if you are dry. So if you're dry, you're going to want to go for something dewy or something that is uh, luminous. So look for those words, dewy, luminous, like hydrating, that'll be a good place to start. And in case you didn't see my last video, I have this amazing little combo that I've been doing. So right here we have the Beauty Blender Foundation and we have the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. So the cool thing about this is that it's a very like lightweight, glowy base that you could use underneath the foundation. Or I know people that use it as a foundation. What I've been doing because this is a little bit too light and this is way too dark. <laughs> this is my summer color and this is not quite yet my winter color. <laughs> but what I do is I create a nice little mixture. So I put the Beauty Blender foundation right on my hand and I did like say, okay, like say we're going to do the whole face here. So we got four pumps of the Beauty Blender foundation. For four pumps, we'll do one, two, three. We'll do like three add-ons there of the Charlotte Tilbury. And because you're mixing it on your, your hand, I'm going to do one more. Because I'm mixing it on my hand here, um, you're going to lose product because it absorbs into your skin. You're not going to use all of this. But basically what I do here is I take my beauty blender and I just start applying this to my face and it's a really nice application so I'll kind of tell you guys a little bit about the two foundations while I apply it. The beauty blender foundation is kind of it's kind of a little bit thicker and the Charlotte Tilbury is very much so light so it's very light it's very luminous. It doesn't look like you're wearing anything. And the Beauty Blender is like definitely like a, almost like a stage, I could say, like a stage type makeup. So it's nice to mix the two together and you get like the best parts of the two. And normally I would conceal areas like right there, but I miss that mark. I totally kind of bypassed that so I'm just going to continue okay so I finished uh, applying the foundation and I'm now going to go in and do a little bronzer because it's a little bit on the lighter side I usually like my foundation like one shade darker so I'm going to go in and contour so right here we have the Anastasia Beverly Hills cream bronzer in the shade amber and one little trick to this if you don't like really know how to apply it. I love to use this Real Techniques brush. It is a square foundation brush. That's what they call it. It's really just a tiny brush and it applies to the most specific place. So what I do is I kind of just work it around my hairline and then I contour my cheeks and it applies really nicely and it blends really nicely. So we're going to go in and we are going to just contour the face. One thing is that Beauty Blender sent a bunch of uh, things to try. So I'm going to show you guys the samples because they're very cool. They're things like I haven't heard of through them. Okay, so I've applied the contour to the places that I wanted it and now I'm going to go in with the Beauty Blender that I used to apply the foundation and I'm just going to blend it all in. And if the Beauty Blender doesn't work, like I do like a I do a very minimal like beauty blender type thing like I buff it in just a tiny bit and then I'll go in with a foundation brush sometimes so if the beauty blender does not work you can go in with a foundation brush or whatever kind of 
brush you use to apply your foundation. Okay, I'm gonna leave this for a second and I think I have like a little bit more. I sometimes see things in like the camera, I'm like, oh, that needs to be blended, that needs to be blended. So I am going to go ahead and I realized I haven't concealed yet. And that's usually like my first thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and conceal. I conceal underneath the eyes and that's really the only place I wanna conceal today. All right, so since I concealed this, I'm gonna go in with my setting powder. I have the Kylie Yellow setting powder and this is um, the reformulated kind. Or actually it's not yellow, it's beige. The new kind is beige. And I'm gonna use my Tati Beauty Blendful, even though that is now out of business. I don't know if you guys watched that YouTube video, but she announced like the closing of Tati Beauty. So I'm just gonna conceal. I'm going to put the powder on the places that I concealed and then also kind of like in my T-zone because I tend to be more oily. And I'm also going to kind of like cut here and then we'll go in and we will use the bronzer, the powder bronzer while this all sets. So I have the Tarte Park Ave Princess that I wanna use and I'm going to use my Jaclyn Hill bronzer brush. This is the JH02 and the Park Ave Princess is so nice. It's such a pretty bronzer. I kind of like it for winter time because it's warmer um, I really like the Hoola bronzers, but they're so pigmented where Tarte, if you go in with like a heavy hand, it's not going to come out super, super dark where Hoola, like, you know, I'm sure if you used Hoola before, you know what I'm talking about. It goes on thick. So I'm just going to bronze up the area so that I put the cream contour so that it can kind of set and I'm going to let this sit for a second. And I'm going to buff out my lower waterline with a darker shade. And I'm going to add a little sparkle. So I'm going to go in with this sh like sparkle shade that's right here, which is called Fur Real. <laughs> it's like a mixture of all the sparkles. So there, that would be appropriate. That for a real color is super pigmented. It's actually really pretty. I've never really used it. And now I'm going to buff in everything. I'm gonna leave underneath the eyes only because I still have to do a lower waterline mascara and I wanna make sure that that um, powder is there to catch it in case I like miss. And I'm using the Essence mascara going in with this cream this is a blush from Stila. And I'm just gonna apply it to the apples of my cheeks, kinda high up, and blend it in with a beauty blender. And this is so pretty, I'm almost out of it. I've like hit pan on it, so I have to go buy another one, but it's my favorite makeup product right now. I absolutely love it. And I was never like a big blush person, but I absolutely love this Stila one. Next, I'm going to set this with the Dewy Set from Anastasia. Do a little highlighter. I'm using the Becca. This is the Rose Quartz Highlighter. Okay, I'm having a really hard time picking a lip color because I hate going out of my comfort zone of lip colors. But I do have the Kylie One Wish. So this is like a pinkish, reddish kind of. And I have the Kylie One Wish Lip Liner. Wow, I picked a matching lipstick and lip liner. Usually I like to like interchange different colors and make a different kind of thing, but let's see how this looks. Okay, I actually really like this lipstick for this look. I think it complements it really nicely. And I haven't done something other than my KKW Beauty Pink One and Buxom Lip Gloss in a minute, so I actually think that this looks really pretty. Let me know what you guys think. Um, down below in the comments but this is the pretty much the whole look it's kind of like a medium holiday style makeup look where it's still bronzy and still very much my comfort zone still very much full glam but it also it's not like you're using like a sapphire blue or an emerald green because those are the colors I think of when it comes to holiday 
Um, one little thing that I needed to mention was the fact that Kylie Cosmetics is not doing a holiday drop, which made me really sad, and I don't know why. They haven't addressed it or anything. They're just doing like 12 days of deals. So uh, I always look forward to her holiday releases. Last year was the Grinch one, and I think I might just do a whole tutorial using that because I'm sad and I wish that they were coming out with another one. <laughs> I might do that over on TikTok or Reels or something, but this is my version of like a holiday look right now. Kind of like a berry, like warm, medium holiday shade. That's what I would call this. Before I end this video, I want to remind you guys to check out the link in the description box to get up to 25% off your Ana Luisa jewelry, just like these earrings, just like the other earrings I showed you in the beginning of the video that I love so much that you've probably seen me wearing on Instagram stories, reels, TikToks, everything. Uh, be sure to click that link down below in the description box. It is tons of holiday gifting and shopping and the most beautiful jewelry that you've ever seen so check it out I would love to hear what you think which pair of these earrings were your favorite I really can't pick I love all of them for different reasons and different seasons okay so like this for like if your hair is up and you want something dainty but then the hoops the medium hoops for like when you want something a little bit more bold when your hair is down and then the Michelle earrings for a holiday party. I'm wearing them for the holiday party we're going to because they're bold and they create a bolder statement and they're just so beautiful. So check it out. Save yourself some money by using that link down below. Let me know what you guys think. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Check out my Instagram and TikTok. And I will see you guys all soon again in my next video.